Okay, guys, YouTube. I'm gonna teach you how a. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how electric fuel pump works, and uh, it's actually really simple. If you understand electricity, uh, positive or positive to negative, you know terminals. Uh, you know, to bring a wire to a source. You know, to get things active and all that because this is an electric fuel pump right here so uh, this isn't mechanical it's electrical because there's wires at the end of it that's mainly the thing you have to look for if you want to find out if it's electrical or mechanical but uh, why don't we stop talking let's get started so first I'm going to show you how to take it apart because this puppy took me about Oh, took me about 15 minutes to take it apart. So, as you see, you'd probably be more wiser to start around. Uh, hold on, excuse me. Probably be more wiser to start around these grooves right here. All these little clips right here. One in there. Um, you're gonna need a flat head or two flat heads, should I say? You're gonna have to have one. Uh, Mm, I think I put the one, I th yeah, put one right down here, jammed it right in there, and then, you know, right from jamming it in there, I took, I took a flat head, I took a flat head and just grouped my way around like that, and then a little solenoid popped out so let's take it apart it's kind of hard to do with one hand excuse me everybody on YouTube um, this is off a 93 F-150 so I don't know about all you Chevy and Dodge fans how to how an actual uh, Dodge or Chevy fuel pump works so just Off a Ford F-150, 93. It's actually really simple to take out. It's just it takes a long time. So maybe it'll just pop out since I've already popped it out and saw how it worked. So let's see if it'll do it. Okay. First, you take your flathead. I said you might have to take a hammer or something uh, jam it down in there and then take another flathead jam it down in there and just pry that motor out there she be now most of you are probably thinking well what in the world that's it this thing's huge. Well, actually what happens here is uh, all this is right here, these wires, like I said, it's electrical, so it goes to the battery, blah, blah, blah. goes to a lot of fuses and crap at the end of the engine right there. Um, anyways, all it really is is just a solenoid, yeah. And what happens with this, and there's usually a sock that goes on the end of it it's about about hmm, probably about that long it's just keep stuff because you got a lot of just little specks and crap that's in the gas tank so what happens is this little thingy right here little blue thing inside there right here now what happens is this sets in the the gas tank. What happens is when you turn, you crank your engine, you turn it on. This little solenoid makes this kind of a noise. I'll show you this right now. Let 
You'll hear it. Ooh, yep, negative to positive. Excuse me. Twizzle that a little. Okay, so you'll hear this kind of a noise. Hear that kind of noise? Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, so what, that's what it does is, uh, oh, it's kind of hard to do this with uh, two hands, but one hand free. But if you look inside there, if you look inside there, you look very closely. There's small little teeth. And what those teeth do is when electricity comes down and brings a shock through that little rotor, those teeth spin and spin and spin and spin. They just spin, 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 spin. And like I said, um, sorry guys. And like I said, Over here, you guys are probably wondering, well, what's this little solenoid doing in there when it's a big housing like this? Well, what happens is this thing sets in the gas tank and this whole entire housing floods. Many of you are thinking, well, electricity, um, moisture, wetness, well, it's gas, actually. And many of you are probably thinking, well, yeah, exactly, it's gas sitting in there why is an electric motor sitting in there well good question look at it it's plastic um, so what happens here is when so it's in here and that thing you know you crank the engine it goes and this thing floods up in here you know I mean it won't flood drastically but I mean it'll get pretty flooded what this will do is this will spin those little teeth in there will spin and uh, it'll kind of suck all that stuff in and this little hose right here this little pipe hose whatever you want to call it um, actually is goes up through I want to say oh where's that where's that oh it goes up into here, this little metal, this little metal groove, and uh, what happens is it comes out here, and when you take it out of the gas tank, there's a lot more uh, utility um, wires and sensors. Like there's a big sensor that sits, that sits like right here, it just sits like that, it sits just like that. Um, that sensor will tell you how much gas you got in your gas tank, but um, like I said, it'll set in here, and it'll lead up through, up through here, and then, like I said, there's a whole crap load of the utilities when you open, take it out of the gas tank. There's a hose sitting here, and then that hose, or that little pipe hose, has the actual gas hose to it. Like I said, when this is spinning, this squirts the gas up through here, up through, oh, where's my at? Up through here, all the way up. So you gotta think, you know, this little solenoid, that's a strong puppy. You know, it sends gas. Uh, let's see how long is that bed. That bed's about six foot. But the gas tanks behind the axle. And, uh, you know, I mean, it sends the all along gas lines right down there, and then uh, right about here, right under there is the fuel filter, and a little more gas lines. It comes up into your fuel regulator, and then into your combustion chamber, up into your fuel, in fuel injectors, and uh, you know, there you go. But you gotta think with the engine. You know, all the engine's powers, this baby right here is a V8. You know, all the engine's power is actually, no matter how much power is in the battery, it's still 
sucking gas from the gas tank even though the battery is still working so and one more thing I have to add is when you know you're you turn on the truck you turn it on and then you know you hear it rubbing and then you just go walk around the back and you walk about right here you start hearing well while the engine is running well you know that used to make me wonder too until I found out this baby was electrical um, it's the fuel pump actually it's the fuel pump with that little cylinder spinning spinning um, sending fuel up into the engine so that's what it is guys well, that's all I got today thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe um, thanks for watching a lot guys have a good one